Well, if you find yourself spending a lot of time at home right now and missing out on those weekend rituals, don't worry. You don't have to miss out on happy hour. No, you certainly don't. And here to bring us a very happy hour from his home, like the rest of us, is Paul Zahn. Paul, what's up, buddy? Hey, guys. I'm just sitting here alone drinking. So, you know, <laughs> virtual, <laughs> virtual helps. happy hours are the thing. It helps the day go by a, a little bit faster. It really does. <laughs> It definitely does. It definitely does. But there are rules and some tips that I'm going to share with you guys how to throw a virtual happy hour. Are you guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, okay. we are. By the way, we should mention you're in your home in West Hollywood, right? Yes, I'm in California. I wish I was there with you guys, but, you know, soon we'll be reunited. Okay. One day. Well, it will, thanks for it will feel me. so good. Yes, yes. So the first step is you want to set the mood. So whether that's lighting a candle or you can actually make a DIY air refresher. And it's super simple. It's one part vodka, and then it's um, one part water, and then 10 drops of essential oil. And then you just mist that around the room. You can put it on furniture, and it really gives a ambiance of you know setting the tone to have a happy hour in your home. So that's step one. Okay. Next up, you wanna appoint a host. So when you're putting out the oh. Zoom invites, the FaceTime invites, everything like that. You want to have a host so that way they can, um, you know, run the show. So it's not 20 people talking at once because that could get a little, you know, crazy. <laughs> or, I or, love this. Or, frankly, though, right now the hosts are just the, vo the voices on our own heads. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but when you're exactly. able to have people over again, yes, of course. And the third tip is you want to pick a theme. So whether it be like one of the themes I recently did was a Sex in the City theme where you assign oh. each member a character to create a cocktail, you know, themed by. So like a Samantha cocktail. So I did a spicy cucumber margarita because it's cool, it's tart, and it's mm. fresh, just like Samantha. <laughs> All right, what goes into it? Here we go. Let's do it. So it is tequila, muddled cucumbers, lime, and a tahin sea salt rim. Super easy, and it's a little bit of, you know, tart and sweet just like samantha yeah i like that so hold on so you we're usually your official tasters however the cruelty of this is we can't have what you just made so if you could please mm. it's terrible guys you aren't missing anything <laughs> uh, so listen i have not yet gone to a uh digital cocktail hour i'm very excited so i've joined you i've got my little uh my little cocktail here will you assign me a character i and and sean one too I'm getting a Charlotte vibe from you, Miss JJ. Oh, okay. I can do and, that. And John, Actually, John, that's perfect. You know why? Because there's no alcohol in this. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And this John, is orange juice. Carrie Bradshaw. I don't know if she'd drink orange juice, but we'll run with that. Fair enough. Listen, you know, it's just, it's, it's a mimosa without the mimosa. It's, it's really a virgin mimosa. It. Virgin mimosa. But aren't we all? I uh, think that's... Go a good character for you, Sean, because you're really into shoes. So it's kind of a fit. I do have a lot of shoes. Um, but yeah. you, you could also do like your favorite song or your favorite musical artist. There are some favorite sports team. There are so many different ways that you could sort of do this. And then the next tip is you want to use stuff you have around the house to make some cocktails. So what I did was I took some old coffee grinds. And what you want to do is you want to infuse it with some whiskey. So you just let it sit overnight super easy we're using some delicious oh, writers wow. here with me. and then it'll get the lovely hints and um flavor profile of some coffee and then you can okay. drain you can strain it and you can use the coffee infused uh whiskey to make a riff on like a classic cocktail like a revolver which is typically bourbon and coffee liqueur so you're using stuff you have around the house or you could take like some de serrano and you could put some cinnamon sticks in there to make a nice brunch cocktail so you infuse it so it gets the cinnamon and the flavor profile of the liqueurs or liquors and um, you can have a nice little treat for yourself. And you're being sustainable. Yeah. Nobody's going out. So you have stuff that you have around your house to really step up your cocktail game, people. So, and this is, yeah, Paul, go ahead. Oh, well, I was just wondering. So what happens if you meet someone at a online cocktail party? Like, do you decide to go off and FaceTime together? Or like, how does this all just work? Slide in their DMs. I think that's the only answer, mm. right? <laughs> guys, right guys, on. You schedule a date for January 2021. That's how it's looking. <laughs> and DMs, all You're that. You have, 
you have a digital relationship until 2021. I love it. It's so smart. It really and is. Being and single, being single, this is a fun time for dating. Yeah, I'm sure. So yeah. I roll here. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is have you been tested for coronavirus? <laughs> this is just, you know, the questions you have to ask now. It's interesting. Right. Circle yes or no. Yeah, there we go. Paul, uh, it's great having you as always. You always keep it light and fun. And we uh, we love the fact that you did this. And we'll have to get on, onto a FaceTime and have a uh, little uh, drinking sesh a little later on. I expect recipes by you two soon. Absolutely. We're going to make it happen, Paul. Hey, thank you so much, buddy. Sweetie, cheers to you and all your neighbors in West Hollywood. We cheers. love you. Cheers. And we'll you talk to you soon, honey. Vegas. All right. You want to cheers. learn more about Paul Zahn, you can follow him on Instagram at Paul Zahn. Oh. Good guy. And a great idea. Live such a great life.